you are an employee of a company that offers restricted stock or stock options, you should be aware of strategies that exist to help minimize your tax burden. One of those strategies is called an 83B election. With this, you're allowed to pay taxes based on the value of your shares when they're granted rather than when they're vested. This allows for growth in your shares to be taxed at much lower tax rates and can be very advantageous for you. But there's a couple things to know about before you make the election. First, you want to consider what the likelihood of your shares declining in value are. When you make the 83B election, you are prepaying taxes based on the value today, and if the value is lower in the future, it means you ultimately overpaid on your taxes. Next, what is the vesting period of the shares and are you confident that you'll continue to work for the company over that time? If you end up leaving the company early and forfeiting your shares, the 83B election effectively means you've paid taxes on an investment you'll never get. In general, if you're in a position where your restricted stock or stock options begin to represent a big majority of your net worth, you're gonna find a lot of value in working with tax and investment professionals to help you navigate all of the tax rules behind your options. Restricted shares and stock options represent a really nice opportunity to grow your net worth, but with them come a lot of potential pitfalls for really high tax bills. So if you're receiving these assets as part of your compensation plan, please reach out to see how we have helped others like you create a long-term financial plan.